First, move the front seats all the way back. Then move the steering column down and forward and bring the steering wheel into the center position. Next, disconnect the ground wire of the starter battery. Then remove the A-pillar trim. Now remove the control unit of the steering column module. To do this, first remove the steering wheel. Remove the control unit from the outer casing until the cover can be unclipped. Then unlock and disconnect the plug connection. Unclip the retaining clip and remove the control unit. Remove the displays of the head unit and the instrument cluster. Unclip the covers on the left and right side of the dashboard and then remove them both. Remove the switch group for the exterior lighting and the electric parking brake. Then remove the controls of the air conditioning system. The glove box is next to be removed. To do this, undo the two screws of the panelling underneath. Disconnect the plug connections and you can remove the panelling. Now remove the screws at the bottom and on the inside of the glove box. Then take out the glove box until you reach the plug connection. Unlock and disconnect this connection then you can remove the glove box entirely. In the next step, remove the knee bag ignition squib on the driver's side. To do this, undo the screws on the right and left side of the trim. The same applies to the screw next to the hood release. Carefully pull down the trim until the electrical connectors are accessible. Unlock and disconnect all plug connections. Then pass the hood release through the opening of the trim and remove. Now unscrew the screws and remove the knee bag until the plug connection is accessible. Unlock and disconnect this connector using the disassembly lever listed in the VIS document. Then remove the knee bag. Next remove the center console. Afterwards, remove the front side vents left and right. Insert the pull-out hooks into the openings inside the air vent. Then carefully pull the air vent out. Unlock and disconnect the plug connection behind it. Then remove the side vent completely. In the next step, remove the center vents. To do this, first unclip the decorative trim until you can access the plug connections. Then unlock and disconnect the plug connections and remove the decorative trim together with the air vents. 
Use a long wedge to unclip the cover over the center speaker on the dashboard. Then unclip the speaker too. Unlock and disconnect the electrical connectors of the speaker. Remove the loudspeaker. Then undo the screw underneath. Now unscrew the remaining six fastening screws of the dashboard. Then unscrew the ground connection screw of the passenger airbag on the cross member of the dash. Next, remove the decorative trim of the dashboard on the passenger side. Unlock and disconnect the electrical connectors of the ambient lighting. Then you can remove the trim. Unclip the additional stowage compartment in the dashboard. Lift the dash out sufficiently so that you can reach the plug connections. Unlock and disconnect all connections. Use the disassembly lever. Then you can lift the dashboard out together with a workmate. This completes your work. The installation is carried out in the reverse order.